Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm reacting to the bear episode 6 and I really enjoyed the previous episode. It was a truly bad day for uh, the restaurant and for everyone but as we keep seeing in every episode we we got an evolution. I keep saying this word but that's what we are getting. Like we are getting we, are, we get to see them uh, handle situations better and better each time because even if uh, things go wrong like Sydney, she was very good at uh, finding solutions and uh, she had a much better communication with the team than the previous times and that's because also the team is more open specifically Tina uh, Marcus I learned his name and I really liked him. He did some stuff wrong, but by the end of the episode, he learned from his mistake and he was more organized, more relaxed. He didn't leave everything to last minute. He he was very good. Okay, we got some information about um, Rich and the shady stuff he's doing, but I'm still very curious about what is going on with Nico. I'm afraid about what is going on with Nico because, come on, Ritzy, you're okay. You do all the bad things, but yeah, yeah. It's and it's episode we dive in, into more um, depth about the information and about their characters and about everything. And I really enjoy that, and I'm really curious about today's episode. So. Not delayed it anymore, but before that, if you enjoyed my reaction, please like this video, please subscribe to my channel, and thank you so much for being here. Let's watch the six. Uh, six. I always, I always find it hard to say the word six. Six uh, episode. Yeah. Alright, so you guys want to hear the story or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Huh? Mm -hmm. We're going go. to see Michael. Oh, here we go. All right. so Finally. Right, which was the, the ah. He's a famous actor. I didn't realize that for so many like photos we have seen that until now. The goddess of agriculture, sorry. You and uh, fucking story. Right, someone's <laughs> jealousy weren't invited, huh? Uh, I would not have gone. You would have fucking gone. Please wake me up when the story starts in the fucking and class. Is dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, Ritzy looks so young <laughs> here. Anyway, so let's so show that we are not getting raised. Don't do that. Mom, I don't want to teach you. We're not fucking it. doing raised. Oh. Anyway, cousin, was it <laughs> a Let's hear cool how she likes. Was it all fucking Blackhawk fans and cousin who was there? Savvy. Oh, yeah. Savvy. 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 Okay. okay. Savvy had gotten inducted into the fucking Hockey Hall of Fame. We walk into this giant hockey. Okay, okay. they're talking, talking about hockey. Right? And this motherfucker, he somehow, this okay. curious Michael fella, already has such a chaotic vibe. You have reached the voicemail of Richie Yermovich. What's your name? Right? Ah, she's on a date. To me. Call me. You can hear it. I get it. Call me. I still got it. I believe you. She's not interested. Okay. Mm. Really? You don't want to hear it? Okay. You guys were at a bar at 6.45 in the morning? <laughs> yeah, sometimes you can do that. It's not... Yeah, but... I mean, anyway, for us Greeks, it's not no, that no, unusual. Hmm. She's not enjoying your story. You are not a match for each other. It's okay. But, oh, Cute Ritchie. Trying to go on dates and finding uh, another girlfriend. Now that he's divorced. Nice size. It's a humor, you know. Uh -oh. And even worse, too, I'll tell you, even actually much worse. It's like she got no. She got no. No sense of Chicago history. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> oh, Tina was nice. She was like, she has nice eyes. <laughs> Don't call her puta just because you didn't match with each other, okay? Take this green tape off before it gets to us. It takes five seconds. Once the soap in our fingers are pulling, we can't fuck with this shit. Cool? Yes. yes Respect the washer, so whatever they, what they do is called. Great. 
Yeah, what we're talking later. about that elevated comfort. Later is better for short ribs, but on the risotto, I use the extra Hey, see, watch those peppers. Later. Are you saying risotto to go to me? I am barely convinced we're ready for it to go at all. I'm just saying if you use a dime. Right here. Chef, you can have chef, a chef, right hey, here. listen to me, please. One, two. I know everybody you used to work for. I called them for hiring. Why'd you do that? Because your resume is excellent. This place is not. Everybody said you are incredibly smart. You are incredibly talented. Yes, but what? You are incredibly impatient. Incredibly green. Okay, so okay, I understood in basic what that's, that's green, green that's mean in this here, case. That's why you no, don't. Saying, so, so what are you saying? I'm saying give me a minute. Okay, yeah. Be more patient. We have finally gotten this to a place where things are sort of, kind of, a little bit chill. Right? Yes, that's true. I would like to hold on to that as long as I mm. possibly can. Yeah, no. Okay, did you get it? Don't get yeah. mad, uh, Sydney. Yeah, and the people in this place, they haven't given that government anything in five years and somehow I'm a co-owner in this nightmare and my home will be seized if I don't give them some money okay, so ah, I spent to go in there and to get the payroll records from 2018 can you do that for me please yes do that because she's in a bad situation right now the IRS rich protection thanks <laughs> you and don't talk to him like that <laughs> Oh, she's angry. Wait a minute. It's a fuck you. Okay. Why the organize it like this? No. Hmm. I'll ask him when he's not dead. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's Richard Hart. Hart Baggery in Copenhagen. It's a bad motherfucker. Mm. Cool. Copenhagen is mentioned a lot in this show. Like some hell. Look, hmm. when I tried out for the Cubs, I was playing on the farm team, and they wouldn't put me up. And I Again with the sport uh, reference. I don't get them. Stop them. <laughs> I'm not homeless. No, what's up with the desk? Oh, I just started sleeping here so I could save time on my commute. So you're a psychopath? Yes. Cool. This <laughs> be perfect. You want perfection, bro? Stop with the shower. Ah. Oh. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Not that bad? You used to play for the fucking Cubs? Not that bad? Okay. How bad is it? Yeah, Rich is uh, lost today. You. you okay? No, he doesn't yeah. look okay. What's wrong? Feels weird out there. Bar closed. You know that? They're different. Yeah, they are different. You know, you let up a little bit, everything changes. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't realize. He's not good with senses. This is a delicate ecosystem. And it's held together by a shared history mm -hmm. and love and respect. No. Put it up there, it was the tallest building in the city, and no one really gonna see her face, so we didn't bother to put one. Okay. But now, every goddamn building is taller than the next one, and they all just look at it and just check with one face. It's mm -hmm. just. Ah! Fucking kidding me. Good? Yeah. Was that on purpose or just. Okay, that was uh, something. Uh... Not targeted to them, or it was targeted to them. Nico, <laughs> you guys see me shot out my window? I didn't see it, man. It scared the shit out of me, though. Probably some dumbass kid fucking with his mom's 22. Yeah. Okay, so he doesn't know anything, so perhaps it wasn't targeted. You know, you guys aren't supposed to be hanging out here. I asked you to hang out down there. Okay? <laughs> All the cops. Yeah. I ask you to do it over there, and you know, keep it at a reasonable volume. Well, we can't chill over there, man. I can't chill over there. It's dangerous. Why? Dangerous? Motherfuckers it's like weapons. a block away. It's a different dangerous. Construction dangerous. The vent went cold. The whole shit's gutted. Building a sweet green. Are you fucking kidding me right now? You know, the bar's closed too. It's getting ugly. 
Dig dag. Okay. Okay. Today Reese is very calm. It's very communicative. Very good. Don't go sign for a drug addict. Did he just tell her that he she shouldn't uh, cooperate with uh, her the Michael that was a drug addict? Ask him what's wrong with him today. I'm sad about it right now. So whose jam is it? Teach you accounting at uh, Noma. Don't be sarcastic. They teach you at the Bry. <laughs> nice comeback. Is there a name for that thing where you know, you're afraid of something good happening because you think something bad's gonna happen? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Life. <laughs> oh. Alright, so you are in a very bad place. Asked me if my real last name is Bad News. Oh. <laughs> bad News Bears. I guess I'm in her mom's phone. It's Richie Bad News. Oh. Come on, mom. Don't do these mistakes. Tiff. What the fuck? You know? Yes. She says I'm contagious. I only call with bad news. <laughs> I feel sorry for it today. Let's go. Right, come on, step like. Oh shit, it's the man with the golden dick. How are you, Tom? Good to see you. Mm. He's smiling now. But it's not a real smile. There are a lot of people waiting outside in order to eat in there. Here. How are you? He's good, he's nice. Okay. A different side of Ritzy today. He's a very sensitive guy. Oh. Mm. Mm. Look at them now! <laughs> you think that might be a good time for your dress? Yes, thank you for asking. Oh, it looks so soft. It's tremendous. Thank you, Chef. Sauce is a little bit tight. Yeah, her. Thank you. Maybe soon. Mm. Thank you. Maybe we start rolling it out as a special soon. So it plays. It's getting closer. Yeah. How? Mm. How close? Be patient. Be patient. Yeah, she's a tremendous view. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Well, oh. I don't understand. Chef, it's not ready. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Be yes, patient. Chef. Make it perfect. Mm. She's not happy now. Hi, um, these are polar bear short ribs with risotto. And they're yours. Really? Yep, I had an extra. And I'm sending you the ingredients. Come on, Sydney. Don't ignore Carmi, okay? Don't. Okay, they will find yes, something else. Pills. So he was not only an alcoholic, he took everything. Mm. Yeah, she did it for her brother. Yes? Is that you never ask me how I'm doing? That's true. Ever. It makes sense. She wants to be pampered too. Not only care about others, but others care about her too. I guess all the time I feel like I'm kind of trapped because I can't describe how I'm feeling. No, oh. so that's difficult. Makes a little bit of sense. Mm. Her 
perhaps he's better at describing than you are, so... Really good. Just great. <laughs> okay! <laughs> no answer! Sincerely! No, have some communication. Did yeah. he found it? Yeah, was this it? Yes. It must be. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, sitting in this file labeled. Yes? Shit. Oh. <laughs> That doesn't mean anything, uh, Cindy. Yeah, if the to... chef said no, wait, have patience, time. you should. Just make it better. Huh? Yo, what's going on with these edges, chef? Gotta be cleaner than that. Knife is shit. Okay. Where's my gun? Any of you motherfuckers take my gun? What's going on? Kari! This is my What's going on? Everyone, uh, thank you so much for your patronage. Everything's under control. Uh, please enjoy your beefs. Focus on. No, it doesn't look under control. Chicago, am I right? Chicago, okay. No, 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 no. Good to know that Chicago is like this. Shut up, please. Ah. What's going on here? Okay, Sydney. This isn't his space. Not your space. Yeah, because you know what? You're the one getting there. Yeah, because your crew won't cigarettes. Are they going to solve a? Drag problems right now? I'm Sydney. Let's start there. I'm Sydney. John. Hi, Sydney. Hi, John. <laughs> Mr. Carl. Okay. Mr. Carl. No, I hope you don't find your gun. <laughs> okay, Sydney. You are brave. He found it, eh? Don't do anything stupid. Alright, Okay. Okay, food solves things out always. You see, Richie, there is a different way to solve things, but you don't like changes. But you're proud of her, I think. Yes, it's handled. It's not that you are not needed, okay? Don't feel like you're useless around here. You have to find a different purpose, okay? Don't don't feel even bad that you are already feeling because I feel sorry for you. Okay, he's trying to find his, uh, his place. Richie, I need to unregister. Just fucking tell Richie. Richie. Yeah, one second. Richie, now. Yo, you shut the fuck up. Hey! 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 Outside now. Okay, Tina, thank you. Hey! Richie! I'll throw some shit at you. <laughs> you remember, Tina, this place used to be cool, man. You need to go It's home. cool now, too. I feel like I'm on a different fucking planet right now. My, my game has improved 300% in two months. Mm. This, yeah. this place is, is organized. Good for you, Tina, for realizing that. Good for you, Tina. I love my kid. Mm. You know how much I love that kid. Mm. But this, this is real and alive. Mm. And, and better. And good. It's good. It's good. She doesn't understand. She's a baby, you know, walking around thinking that she can handle shit. This is a delicate fucking ecosystem. Can I fucking emphasize enough how much I don't fucking need this shit right now? Oh. I'm a quit. No, no. Don't tell him. I don't know if that's the right thing. This is your home, okay? You might not feel it, but you are welcomed here, we are loved here, but but you have to find your spot and your place and he misses those days with Michael. He's grieving, that's what I understand, he's going all these stages of grief. And I don't know in which place, I think there are five stages, I don't know in which stage he is, but... 
I guess in the pression stage. I hope that the other guy doesn't come around asking for uh, the risotto and uh, Carmi gets angry because she served it. Okay. No, you weren't actually, but uh, anyway. <laughs> He's so tired. Did he call the police? No. He wouldn't do that. I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps some of the customers from earlier today called the police. I don't think uh, Sugar did. But I don't know if there would be any reason for him to do it. This episode today was sad. It was sad for uh, Rich. Okay, I know that in the past I have said sometimes that I don't like him. He's not my cup of tea, but I understand that he's a very sensitive um, guy. Very sensitive, actually. That's how. That's why perhaps sometimes he acts, acts out and all that. And it was a um, sad episode today, especially for him. Everyone else has managed to cope with the new, with the changes and the new standards and stuff, and he hasn't yet. He is lost. And I think the more he sees that the rest of them, they are going with the flow and they are better than they are bonding and stuff, the more he feels left out. That's what I get. And he misses Michael because apparently he also was the closest to him. And they were very good friends and hanging around and doing stuff. And he's grieving for his friend, his cousin. <laughs> so yeah. It, it's a lot for him. He has a divorce with a wife that it's not handling things very nicely, I think. Like, why have this... Okay, I understand that... It... Okay, you you divorced him for a reason. Perhaps, okay, he always br brought bad news with him, but don't put him on the name and don't let your daughter see it. Like, you're not being a good mom doing that. So, yeah, it's hard for him. I don't know what else to say about uh, Ritzy. Yeah. But okay. When he... he ta uh, How's a good expression? When he hits a uh, bottom, when he hits bottom, then there will be nowhere else to go than up. So, okay, now he's having a bad time, but good things are coming for him. I have faith. Yeah, I felt bad for him today. It was nice from Tina's part to be so supportive of this new system and tell him that this is good. Like what I said about Tina in one in the main episode that with the mashed potatoes, that when she realized that it's not just a pure hostile place. It's not a hostile place at all. It's just a new new standards, new new things that she has to adapt, but her uh, hard works, it will be recognized. And it is. And she sees that also everyone else is working hard in order to achieve something better. And it was, it was good for her. And she said it very nicely to Richard. I, I'm not sure if I really stand behind the phrase that where else you are going to go. That's not, I think, the the way that Richie has to see it. Not that he doesn't have anywhere to go. I think I want him to see that this is a good place to be, regardless of if he does or he doesn't have anywhere else to go. This is his home. It might not feel like his home right now. It might feel like a complete changed place, but it is, and I think he, there might be some argument, but there are people that loved him, love him here, so, yeah, enough of that, uh, Sydney was, 
<laughs> from what I understand, we have a lot of supporters uh, about Sydney from you guys, so I don't know. But she was a little bit bad today again, okay? Like, she... Okay, I understand that if you are an impatient, impatient person, it's hard to learn patience. But uh, she, yeah, she ignored the uh, Carmen. She did serve the dish, and I hope uh, Carmen doesn't find out and gets angry, because he was very nice. He wasn't, I think, that bad at um, declining the dish. He only said you have to work harder, have patience, and make it perfect. But uh, yet he was good enough to then later and say sorry if I was a bit uh, shitty today. So yeah, she has to be more. I did this. She is she's very good and she, she goes through a lot in the show. But yeah, she has some issues too, like everyone in the show. It's a very, as I said before, it's a very realistic show with very realistic people that no one is perfect. Um, yeah, again, with the sister, with sugar and again, Carmen. There is also, I think, a part of griefing, like... Um, yeah, she wants to have a better communication with her brother and both of them expressing their feelings. <laughs> she should have answered, like, seriously the question of uh, how are you feeling, how are you doing, like, not great. Then, anyway, set the example of, of how you should communicate your feelings so Carmi also can see it and act this way and finally express his feelings too. I think I'm reading too much into this, but I enjoy that because it's a very a very good written show that it goes into depth about their characters and feelings and um, again being realistic and having very slow and small steps towards a better place, but it's doing it very nicely, so yeah. I don't, I'm reading too much, but yet I'm not because the show gives me all this material to analyze and understand. Yeah, that is all. Marcus is going to faint at some point from exhaustion from working so much about the donuts. But yeah, I want to try these donuts. <laughs> yeah, that is all. I enjoyed today's episode too. I can't this show managed to do something I didn't expect, to feel sorry about it. Okay, I don't hate it, but yeah, I felt sorry about it today. But okay, better moments are coming, I'm sure. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my reaction. If you did enjoy it, please like this video. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!